Hello and welcome back to another Fallout 76 build. This is quite a small settlement compared to my last few videos, but I have enjoyed making it and yeah, it's quite a different one. If you want to skip ahead to the tour, it's on the 7th minute. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks a lot. So here we are and I'm in this location here. So the motive behind this build is to convert it into some kind of boathouse or kind of like a bar or a shop. And of course we're going to start with a few foundations and what I'm going to do is line it up very close to the nose of the boat and then obviously make it sure that it's straight so we can kind of build around it. This will probably take a couple of attempts because it's not always going to build around it as you want. And yeah, building around here I can't place it so yeah we're going to have to readjust it. So I'm going to try and build round again and hopefully this time it will kind of build round the back nicely. You also want to make it quite tight up against the tyres there. And there we go, it fits. And also you don't want it too close to the tyres because um, yeah, you want to be placing walls. So as you can see I can place the walls there. So yeah, we're going to put a wooden foundation at the front. And uh, yeah, we need like a couple of slopes at the front so it looks like it's sitting within the structure. I'm going to put a couple of slopey ones on the side as well. Get rid of these ones. I like to add a, like a backstory to my builds and, and with this one, a group of raiders or another group kind of like built a structure around the boat because the, the boat is basically out of use and there's no way of fixing the engine because it's completely busted. So that's the idea I'm going for really. I'm going to start building these half walls around now. I'm going to flip them around this side. I think I'll put a slopey one on the edge here as well. When I came across this boat I was quite surprised I can build on it and around it because it looks like it's part of like some sort of quest. Um, if there is a quest, I'm not aware of it yet because I don't think I've got that far. I um, guess I've been building too much, I suppose. <laughs> Can't seem to get a half wall underneath there, which is annoying. So yeah, I don't know why I put that there. Just get rid of that. So now I'm going to start putting some uh, like proper walls up now. So yeah, it's just going to be the half walls and then a, a whole wall above that just to get a, a good height above the boat. And I'm going to do a mixture of windows and solid walls and wooden walls just to make it look like it's been built with scavenged parts basically. At the back here I'm going to have an entrance to the back rooms and the back rooms is going to have like storage and a, like a seating area just yeah just general storage for the for the shop basically. Yeah so going around the back side now we're going to sort of mix up the walls a bit back here have some wooden windows at the front and then every other wall I think I'm going to keep it wooden and then kind of have the metal ones in between. When I had the idea of building this I thought there was like a big risk of it looking quite stupid but I feel like it's, it's looking good so far. So that's the walls mostly done now so it's time to put a rooftop all the way around the back. I just want to add also there's going to be no access from the back side so yeah the only way of getting in is through uh, there's planks of wood at the front there and then you kind of jump onto the boat. So I'm going to put uh, some corner walls at the front just to fill those gaps. I'm going to put a flat roof over the top. But the only issue with this I can't do it all the way across because of like the boat poles there. So it's a bit annoying. I even went as far as rebuilding the whole thing and kind of at least putting a rooftop over one side of it. But when in doubt just use rugs. I'm not ashamed of using rugs and it just makes life very easy and at the end of the day who cares as long as it covers the top I mean look at that that's fine so what I want to do now is I want to put like a, a couple of half walls on on the front top bit of the um, the entrance at the front just below the rooftop and in order to do this just put a few foundations at the front put a staircase up along with the floor and do it all the way along so you can do the left side as well and yeah and now you can attach the, the uh, half wall put a couple of windows in and yeah and now that's attached don't need the floor anymore I would have built it all the way along but I can't because of the rugs and you can't 
the rugs can't really keep it attached so also I need to change this front foundation to a wooden one it's time to place a generator now and I've picked a solar panel because I feel like it gives the settlement a good look and also I don't need a powerful generator for a build like this might as well make use of these poles as well <clears throat> put some like security lights on there either side which uh, will look pretty cool at night also I've just had a pretty good idea to put like a room underneath the boat something like a, like a captain's cabin or something just like a room underneath inside the boat got to move these boxes otherwise I can't place it these boxes are always here as well as the bottles but I feel like it gives the place a bit of character so yeah, if we place this down I'm not sure if I'll keep it here yet I might move it to the other side of the boat but yeah it's gonna be here for now and yeah this will be the hatch to the room underneath and as you're probably aware it's a vault through that door but I've kind of um I've created like a little box room in there to make it look like it's in a boat so yeah as you can see I've tried the best I can to keep it look, looking like it's underneath a boat like I've blocked off the doorway so you can't see the vault door so the only way of getting out is kind of teleporting out which is well it's fine and back here I will be creating some rooms um, but I'm not going to show you that I'm just going to show you that in the tour later but yeah back here is going to be general storage and living quarters basically So that's the build finished now. What I've got to do now is decorate it. I'm going to put some lights up. I'm going to put some decorations along it. Just make it really look really cool. If you've made it this far into the video and you're enjoying it, please consider subscribing. I'm always coming out with base builds. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour guys. Cheers. So yeah, it's all finished now, fully decorated. And the first thing you see is like a little bonfire going bin just some just general stuff to put out the front uh, a couple of turrets all right i've only got two that's all i need really you do get a few scorched about but yeah you only get like a three occasionally and yeah if, you, if i walk across here you can access the shop from here which is quite handy for people got a storage box here if they want to access that whilst shopping and yeah just general decorations at the front I'll put some lights up signs and yeah basically just jump over again I love the fact that these boxes stay here with the bottles it really makes it look like it's lived in as well as like this sack with the dynamite button thing and usually there's an NPC standing here um, I don't know where she's gone sometimes she's there sometimes sometimes she's not but yeah she, she usually uh, stands right next to the table there um, yeah, and here I've just done like a general cooking area. Terminal for, I don't know, logs or something, diaries for whoever's staying here. Around here is a tinker workshop. It was quite hard to place stuff on the boat because it kind of sinks through the boat, as you can see. Uh, the foot locker, foot locker looks pretty cool though. It's like a little storage hatch. Um, I couldn't place anything up here, well I managed to get an ashtray up there, but yeah, anything I placed up there would kind of stick to the top. And I was lucky enough to place some stuff in here, because uh, if I placed anything on this table or on top of this thing up here, like, it would just teleport to the top, so I managed to get a few stuff in there. Uh, we'll look through the hatch in a minute, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll look through there, like the last bit of the video. And if you can remember, there was a couple of slopes here. I've got rid of them because, yeah, it looked a bit odd. Um, they were there primarily just for like a staircase to get through the door, but I can access it without it, which is fine. And then, uh, yeah, this is a generator to power that door. Yeah, and as I said before, this is um, just general storage for the shop. Just stock of like food and drink or ammo, weapons, etc little vendor machine as well and yeah this is like the living quarters little chill out area a couple of workshops and yeah I put some uh, I put this cool uh, kind of tile wallpaper up um, I didn't do it all the way around because it 
started to look a bit plain, so I kept I've kept some metal in there. So yeah, if we make our way around to the hatch now. And as I said before, this is quite a small build compared to my previous ones, but it's quite a unique one. But like, I, I have come across people people's settlements in this area. And um I have and I have seen some really cool ones, like kind of boathouses to the side of it, but I've never really seen one where someone's built on it. Um so yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of put like a unique kind of style on, onto this location. And yeah, if we go through this hatch. This is basically, uh, this would have been here before the structure was built around it, basically. This would, would have been like the captain's cabin or something. It's quite a spooky feeling down here, actually. It's a bit too quiet. Uh, there's no electric down here. I put some like candles and stuff. Um, yeah, it's quite it's got quite an airy feel to it. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching the tour. As always, thank you for watching the video, and just a quick thank you for over 300 subscribers. Thanks for the support, as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.